Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to install Python on Windows and Mac operating system and I will go very basic step by step. So let's get started. Step number one is we have to check if Python is already installed on our system or not. So in case you are on Windows, you can open the command prompt and here you can run the command python space hyphen hyphen version and if it says python is not recognized as an internal or external command that means python is not set up on the system we can also check pip space hyphen hyphen version and this will show the pip version and if python is not uh, installed pip will also not be there pip is the package manager for python that is used to install uninstall and manage python packages so on my windows python is not installed if you are on mac you can go to the terminal and here the same commands python space hyphen hyphen version and pip space hyphen hyphen version so in case of mac for me python is installed and it is showing me all these versions so here let me show you the steps if python is not installed so we will go to the python website that is python.org and go to the downloads uh, page and from there we will download python so let's go to i will just search for download python and this is the link this is the web page for python python.org forward slash downloads now when you click on this download python button it will uh, download for your operating system and you can see other operating systems as well here windows mac linux unix everything is here so if you are on mac still you will just click on this button or windows just click on this download python and you can see it is downloading the installer here okay now we have got the installer so let me go to the folder where it is installed or where it is downloaded so it is here okay now we will run we will run the installer and uh, a very important thing to note here is when you run the installer you will get a option to add python to the path environment variables and please check that and it will enable us to use python from anywhere on our system from the command line so let's do that i will double click on the installer and this will now start the installation process so it has come here and you can see here we have got this option add python.exe to path environment variable so i will check this now we have two options i can click on this install now or i can do a custom installation you can go with any one let me show you the custom installation so here you can see there are some extra things which are getting installed which i do not want i will uncheck the documentation i will uncheck this uh, idle which is a ide for python i don't want this then python test suite also i don't want for now uh, then we have py launcher and this i don't want as of now we just need pip here so i will say next and here you can see again we have got this add python to environment variables is checked if it is not checked you can check it and here we can set the folder location where python will be installed by default it goes in c users folder but just in case you want to change it so let's say uh, i want to change this because my c drive is almost full so i will put it in d drive i will go to d drive and let me go to my tools folder and here i want to put it here so i'll create a new folder here and i will name it python you can name it anything and this is where i want to install and set up python so now here i will browse to the folder which is in d tools and this is the folder python so it has come here and now i will say install so this will start the installation process and it will uh, set up python on our system it is pretty fast and then we will also check uh, with the commands if python is installed and we will also check that python is added in the path environment variables so this is done and there are some links for tutorials i'll just close this and you can see on this folder all the folders and files of python has come here and now if i go to my command prompt and i will hit the up arrow to go back to the last command and if i run this you can see 
I'm still getting this that Python and pip is not recognized as internal or external commands. And this is because this command prompt is still maintaining the old session. So I will exit from here and open the new, a new command prompt. And now I will say Python space hyphen hyphen version and pip space hyphen hyphen version. And this is running. You can uh, also use other commands like pip hyphen hyphen help. This will show you all the options we can use with pip. Okay. So we have done this step. We have already checked with all these commands and now Python is available and uh, I can also check the environment variables. So I will exit from here and you can search for environment variables and you can go from here or you can go to this computer or this PC or my computer do a right click, go to properties advanced system settings, environment variables. Now here you can see we have environment variables for the user. So whoever is the current user and then for the system, for the entire system, okay? So generally it will add in the user path environment variable. So you can see path environment variable is here as well as it is here as well. So if I check this one and click on edit, you can see here the two folders for Python that is the Python folder and the Python scripts folder are added here. In case it is not added automatically, you can add it, but just make sure that uh, if you're using an older version of Windows, where all these paths are present in a single text box, you should not delete anything. Let me show you. If you find it in a single text box, you will see multiple paths separated by a semicolon. Then you have to go at the end and then give a semicolon. Do not remove what is already there. Just give a semicolon at the end and then give these two paths separated by semicolon. Okay, so something like this. Just copy this. I will show it like this and this. So this was in very old Windows system. I'm sure uh, they will not be the issue in your case, but still, if you find this, you can do it like this. Okay, do not remove what is already there. Okay, and similarly, just in case you want to add these to the path environment variables of system, you can go to path and edit and then just click on new and add it. And if it is the older system, just go to the end and add the two paths. Okay. And it will do it automatically. So even if you are on Mac, you should not have to do it manually. And this is how you will be able to set up, install and set up Python on your operating systems on your system and on your machine. So I hope this was very useful. If you have any questions, any doubts, you can let me know in the comment section. I will put all the notes in the description of this video and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.